Greetings, the Astro 30 here yet again, and welcome back to AEL. Now, if you're new to this channel, please consider going down below and subscribing if you haven't done so already. Thanks. This is uh, going to be a short video, but it was more of a request. Someone asked me in the comments, actually, a day or so ago, of how to connect an oscilloscope up to a power amplifier to test it. Now, I'm going to use this uh, short circuits. Uh, three number 13 high power uh, 12 volt amp as demonstration because it was more related to that because he was not understanding uh, how the circuit was working so first off before we do anything and connect any test equipment we need to know one thing we need to know is this a bridge tied load output or a common uh, ground that is, the negative speaker terminal connects to the zero volt or ground rail. So the easiest way to do that is to use a continuity checker. Connect one end to the speaker negative and one end to ground. There's no beep. That means that this negative terminal is an amplifier output, so is the positive. So this is a bridge tied load amplifier. I mean, I already knew that, but that's the first thing we do. So that gives us a clue of how we need to configure our test equipment. We cannot connect a function generator up to this that shares the same ground as the oscilloscope. Uh, even though I'm using USB oscilloscope and a USB uh, function generator, well, the actual USB connector that goes to the power board is actually earthed to each other, so the ground of the scope on the BNC connector is also the same ground on the BNC connector of the uh, function generator. Which means effectively all you're going to end up doing is shorting one of the amplifiers out, which may or may not be disastrous to the amplifier. So we need to have the function generator's ground isolated from the oscilloscope's ground. So that's the first thing we need to keep in mind. And it's a good rule of thumb anyway when testing any amplifier to always use uh, ground isolated test equipment. Um, it saves having to figure out what's what. So let's go ahead and start by configuring this to connect up to the uh, test equipment. So first we're going to need a dummy load. So that's that there. Now this circuit is designed to run into a 4 ohm speaker. So we'll select a 4 ohm load. So all these resistors here are 4 ohms each. And there's just one wide in series with another to make it 8 ohms. So we don't want the 8 ohm connection, we want the 4 ohm connection. So I'll connect one lead, which goes to the positive speaker output, to one end of the resistor. And trying to not let things short. Now I'll connect the negative speaker lead to this junction point here, which is four ohms here or four ohms there. So that can sit there. Then we need to hook up our scope probe. So with our scope probe, um, they're usually times one and times 10 by this switch. It's always a good idea if you don't know what the power output of the said amplifier is, is to switch it into times 10 mode. Uh, it just means that you'd have to adjust your equipment, like set times 10 uh, calculation on your oscilloscope so you don't have to calculate it manually. So we connect the tip end of the probe to the positive speaker terminal on the resistor. It's always a good idea to measure at the load, not at the amplifier. And I'll connect its ground to there. Then this will hook into the oscilloscope. So we first turn the oscilloscope on and then I'll connect to my X channel. There we go. And in order to isolate the ground of the function generator from the oscilloscope, I'm going to use a power adapter phone charger thing that is isolated from earth of the mains and also the ground of the USB socket. So that's how I'm going to configure that and it's worked out reasonably well for me in the past so far. So I'll just plug that in and that can plug off to the power board. And 
we can then turn the generator on and I'm going to preset this uh, already because it, it always comes up as one million uh, one hundred thousand Hertz so I'm going to uh, move that over to there set that to one kilohertz and put it into run and then I'm going to take my BNC to clip lead um, lead into the function generator and I'm going to hook up the ground and the input making sure nothing shorts then I'm going to hook my power supply positive up to the positive connection negative to ground turn the power supply on this is already preset to 12 volts LED lights up and I've got a bit too much gain on the function generator so I'm going to back him off Not too far no, that's good enough we already know what the power output of this is anyway it's around about 7 watts but there you go we now have an output signal, we're not shorting things out, we're not destroying stuff, we're not destroying equipment. And that is how you configure the test equipment to test a power amplifier. And I hope uh, someone found this informative. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please remember to go down below, like, comment and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And this is the Astro 30 as always saying, see ya, have a great day. Happy amplifiers.